Staying with election matters. Reactions have continued to trail the just concluded AKT governorship election held on the 18th of June and won by the governorship candidate of the Old Progressives Congress, APC, Biodun Oyebanji, the governorship candidate of the Action Democratic Party, ADP, Kemi Elibutu Hale, who described the election as being marred by vote buying and other irregularities, expressed her readiness to challenge the outcome of the election in court. Also, the governorship candidate of the Action People's Party, APP, Ade Inka Ali, condemned the result on alleged vote buying, which, according to him, undermined the democratic process. election and electorate for 10,000. In some places they bought for 15,000. PDP bought their own from the range of 5,000 to 7,000. SDP bought their own from the range of 5,000 to 3,000. It is only ADP party, Action Democratic Party in the state that did not get involved in this electoral fraud. And I am going to go to tribunal to challenge it. I don't care who has been announced as the winner of this of this of this uh, process. The election was not free, was not fair, and was not credible. Well, the election has come and, and gone, but uh, I must say that um, it's not free and it's not fair in the sense that um, you see in the record that a lot of vote buying. Is everywhere, and with this, we can't say the election is fair and fair. But then, someone has, someone has won the election. Won the election. There was record of vote buying everywhere. Now, some members of the public also expressed dismay that, despite the presence of anti-corruption agencies like the EFCC and ICPC, vote buying still thrive throughout the process. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.